These are tilt rotors, and they help explain why the U.S. military's Osprey is so valuable. When the rotors are tilted up, the aircraft can take off, land, and hover like a helicopter. When they're tilted down, it can fly as fast and as high as an airplane. But the Osprey, once dubbed the impossible bird by the U.S. military, is now being called a flying coffin and a widowmaker by critics. And it's being grounded just as the U.S. and its Pacific partners were using the Osprey to train for a potential conflict with China. So here's what we know. As tensions rise over Taiwan and the South China Sea, a key part of U.S. strategy in the region involves rotating troops around hundreds of small islands near China. The thinking is that those stand-in forces can strike fast, confuse the enemy, and gather intelligence about the battlefield. And that makes the Osprey incredibly important, since it can cover vast distances, land on ships, and drop down on remote islands. We saw the Osprey's usefulness during an exercise in the Philippines in April. After taking an Army Black Hawk helicopter out to a ship, a 250-mile ride that took three hours, we then boarded this Osprey, which flew roughly twice as fast. The Osprey was able to take off from the deck in helicopter mode, zoom across the Luzon Strait in airplane mode, and then land on remote islands just 100 miles from Taiwan. There, troops hauled all kinds of gear and weapons onto the island to simulate a defense of both the Philippines and Taiwan. The stand-in force is that force that's inside the first island chain. They will move out into this terrain and be able to provide security to the people on this island, as well as secure it for follow-on operations. The Osprey has been used in similar exercises across the Pacific, from Australia to Korea to Japan. But in the past few years, it has suffered deadly crashes. Some have been attributed to human error, while others have been caused by mechanical issues. Sadly, these fatal crashes aren't a new phenomenon. Since it began flying, Osprey accidents have claimed the lives of more than 60 service members and passengers. After a fatal crash in Japan in November, the U.S. suspended its entire fleet for the first time ever. And some experts told me that depending on what the investigation finds, it could be a year until the Ospreys are flying again. We won't let them back into the air until we know that we can do it with a, a, a measure of certainty. So what does this mean for U.S. readiness in the Pacific and around the world? The grounding could harm the U.S.'s ability to execute a number of missions quickly, like raids, evacuations, and resupply, all things the Osprey helped carry out during U.S. wars in the Middle East. And former Deputy Secretary of Defense Robert Work says the suspension will deal a major blow to the Marines, since many of their operations revolve around the platform. For now, the Marines say they still have confidence in the Osprey, and while it's grounded, a range of aircraft will be used in its place to transport equipment, supplies, and personnel. Marines will also continue to prepare for future Osprey missions by using simulators and conducting maintenance. A new plane for the Army, called the V-280, has been hailed as the next generation of tilt rotors, but deployment could be years away. As for China, the foreign ministry criticized the U.S. following the Osprey crash in Japan, saying that the U.S. is acting recklessly while claiming to maintain regional peace and stability in China's backyard.